Dennis is lonely. He's been lonely for a very long time. For Dennis, a human bust made of silicone and plastic, finding intimacy is challenging. Wasn't there any lack of effort? Dating sites, no, he tried, but it was just that his love life always came up a little short. Dennis wished he had hands, or at the very least, he wished he could be held. Was that asking for too much? Yes, it was. Dennis isn't happy with his dating profile. His roommate could find love. Why couldn't he? Dennis would like a daydream about going to parties. Meeting with close friends, having good wine and cigarettes. A moment would arise organically, naturally, where his eyes searched the room at the right moment she searched for his. A glance, a smile, an invitation to chat. He could tell her some self deprecating puns, like how he's feeling a little lightheaded from all this drinking, to great success. after could be spent sleeping away the sunrise, and after a late brunch, take a walk in the city together, aimlessly strolling, just talking, getting to know one another. He felt comfortable with her, and she with him. Despite all being a fantasy, Dennis could see this as reality if only just slightly out of his grasp. Dennis always struggled to understand why he could never find love. It was a question that he asked himself frequently. He felt unlovable anxious two-foot monument to what someone hopeless would look like. Perhaps it was because of his cold glass eyes, or the visible seam along the ridge of his head. It could have had to do with the way that he looks at people. He wished that he could do more than just stare, and he wished that women would stare at him, though not in the way they do now. He felt like an idiot for trying, a small head without a backbone to stand up for himself. An idea came to Dennis. Perhaps it wasn't that he was wrong about himself, but everyone else had an unavoidable barrier that would make him impossible to be loved. Perhaps it was that women weren't attracted to inanimate human head and shoulder. That was it.
perhaps it's for the best that Dennis accepts that he's going to be alone. It was all just a matter of perspective. A little bit of optimism never hurt. A good book, a glass of wine, free Saturdays. Life alone doesn't have to be such a struggle. He'd hear stories from his married friends. Horror stories of how much a chore it can be to raise a child. Taking them to the doctors when they're sick. Tying shoes. Reading to them before bed. Needy things like that. Dennis read about King Tut for the first time the other day. An Egyptian pharaoh who died young after falling off a horse. He was buried in a tomb only to be forgotten about for the next 4,000 years. It was the most pristine tomb ever uncovered. The most famous pharaoh because he was overwhelmingly unremarkable in his life. Renowned for being a failure. What a stupid idiot. What a shitty kid. idea of what you want your love life to be and I think that it's either better to accept it for what it is and no offense Dennis but I don't I don't think you're you're probably not going to find anyone anytime soon if I'm being honest but that's okay like everyone is lovable and I think you just have to accept the fact that you are lovable and you have to believe it and truly believe it and then once you believe it You know, some people just lie online and just have fake accounts saying that there's someone that they're not. Like, you don't have to be yourself. You lie and be online. As long as nobody actually has to see who you are, you can be happy forever.